Anin, Sego. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for our Saturday Morning Breakfast Club. We can't wait to share our Saturday mornings with you and are excited to be welcomed into your home. This week, we're going to be making some spaghetti squash hash browns. The ingredients you're going to need for this week's recipe are two cups of pre-cooked spaghetti squash, one egg, a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we're also going to add in some salt and pepper, but that's up to you how much you choose to add. In addition to the ingredients, there are another couple things we're going to need from around the kitchen. These will include a knife, a cutting board, a clean dish towel, a mesh strainer if you have one, a medium mixing bowl, a skillet or frying pan, and a spatula. Go ahead, grab everything you need, I'll wait right here, and I'll be here when you get back. So let's start out with this spaghetti squash. The recipe calls for it to be pre-cooked. There are a couple ways that we can get into this squash. I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just gonna use my knife to gently pierce some spaces into the squash. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. Once we've got both sides pierced, we are going to put our spaghetti squash into the microwave for five to six minutes. Now, here is a little bit of important information. Your spaghetti squash is going to be very hot when you go to take it out of the microwave. So please, please be super careful. This is where the request for a clean dish towel is going to come into play. So again, please use caution. Once our spaghetti squash is finished in the microwave, we're just going to take a knife and slice our way through the spaghetti squash. Because we've put it in the microwave there for five to six minutes, it should be a little easier to get through. And just keep your kitchen towel handy so that you're not having to handle that hot squash. We don't want any burnt fingers. And chop off that, that top part there, the stem. Now that we've got our uncooked squash cut in half, we can go ahead and start to scrape out all of the seeds. This might be something fun for the kids to do if they're around helping with breakfast. Once you've got all of those guts, we're gonna call them the seeds and the insides out of your spaghetti squash, you can go ahead and start to scrape that uncooked squash free. Keep on doing this with both sides. We want to try and get about two cups of pre-cooked squash. And there we go. This is the amount that I got out of my squash. Now, if you reach in and you pick up a handful of that squash, you're going to feel that it's still really, really wet. Now, what we want to do for this particular recipe is try to have our squash be as dry as possible. The easiest way to do this is if you have a mesh strainer, like you can see here, just put your squash into the strainer and press down firmly with your fingertips until you can get as much of that water and excess juice out of the way. Once you've done that, we can start our mixture. Go ahead and add in your quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna add in this egg. The egg is what is going to help to bind everything together. So it's just one egg that we're using. There's our one third cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. 
and that's right, our salt and pepper. Again, you can add this in as much or as little as you'd like, it's an, up to you. Now it's time to mix everything together. I'm using a fork to do this just to make sure that I get that egg mixed in really well with the rest of the squash and the cheese and everything else. You can go ahead and mix it however you like. This was just what was easier for me at the time. Just keep on mixing until you feel like you've got everything thoroughly blended together. Next comes our frying pan. So I have turned my heat on to medium and you can see here that it is a pretty uh, heavily greased frying pan. I'm gonna try and use some light here. It seemed a little dark. So here is a handful of our mixture. I'm just gonna flatten that down to make somewhat of a patty. Fairly thin patties are what we want. My frying pan doesn't feel too warm just yet. So I'm gonna set that one aside and go ahead and make another patty. and I'm just gonna drop it into the frying pan here. I'm gonna continue to make some patties. You can make them whatever size you want, whatever makes sense. And just, again, drop them into your frying pan or skillet. You're gonna leave them in the frying pan or skillet for about five minutes, five to six minutes, or until you start to notice that the one side is getting brown and crisping up a little bit. Once you see that happening, you can go ahead and start to flip your hash browns. Once you've got them flipped, you're gonna do the same thing. Let the other side cook for another five to six minutes. These smell delicious. And there you've got your spaghetti squash hash browns. They were pretty simple and easy to make and right now squash has been on sale quite frequently within the grocery store so it seemed like the perfect time to introduce this recipe. As always we hope you enjoyed this week's recipe and until next week, Ona!